Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Aquarius. Before I get started, I just want to share these affirmations with you. Be in the presence of love. Let the spirit of love flow through you. So just go with the flow. Okay, what you put out could come back to you. It actually could be an invitation. <laughs> Life is inviting you to experience a whole new level of happiness, healing, prosperity, success, and love. Okay, beautiful. All right. I feel there's a, a, a message in here. Basically, you know, it's about just going with the flow. Okay. I feel it's an energy of expecting positive energy. It's also focusing on your own success first and healing, okay, to bring in more prosperity and love. All right, Aquarius, what does Aquarius need to know? Clear messages for Aquarius. New love prospects, connections, who's interested in you? So I see some success and victory. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so I see somebody here who's single. It could be yourself, but I said what's coming towards you. Someone here who's single. So someone who's successful, if you ask them, they'll tell you yes. <laughs> someone enjoying the fruits of their labors. So this is generally a person who has everything. They're pretty comfortable. Yeah, look at that. You've got something new. Yeah, someone wants to start uh, with you. They will express themselves, so I feel they want this victory. So they're going to be the one to start it. A little Leo energy. Beautiful. Something new, Aquarius. Yeah, someone here shining a light. See, have seeing the truth. They need to be the one to start it. Someone soul searching their path in life. Someone enjoying the fruits of their labors. It could be a Virgo or have that just be in that energy. They're often someone who's a little private. They often keep things to themselves if they are successful. But if you ask, they'll tell you the truth. This person knows they need to start something. They need to be the one to start it. So you can see this energy of growth and prosperity. Yeah, this is someone feeling on top of the world. They feel this could be successful. Okay, I definitely see this person find it being financially successful. They have everything but love. So they're soul searching their path. This is someone who's, you know, probably curious about you. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's uh, somebody with that earth energy. Very much focused on their finances. This is a person who has, a, I feel, some wealth. Okay, there's energy. This person's ready for change. You see, they're just going with the flow. So this is somebody who's been focusing a lot on their finances to be ready before they start something. This is someone who has everything but love here. You see, they see it. They're seeing things clear. So they're looking for clues and answers. Mm -hmm. Their life path. Wow. Ace of Swords. So someone who's accomplished something here, I feel. Yeah, look at that. The Aquarius, a lot of Earth. If you have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart, this very well could be an important reading for you. So I see this truth and success looking at the details. Now, it could be them. No, don't look at the genders on these cards. But it's a person here, I feel, who, you know, is looking at things very carefully, taking their time, looking to see if there's anything missing. See, looking for clarity. Now, this could be somebody here who's looking to see if you've started something new, if you're single. Okay, they want to start something. I can see it. They're looking for clues. <laughs> They're soul searching their path in life. So, but it could be you. Like they could be coming towards you, you know. I feel like you may say yes, but you're going to take your time and ground yourself, I feel. Yeah, see, we have two people here, both wanting the same thing. Two people who are successful. Oh, you're going to have a communication. You're both a little apprehensive. It's the early stages of something here. So you both want this. You're both focused on your financial stability. You want the same thing. Okay, so I feel there's an energy of growth and feeling on top of the world. This is an energy of change. Someone's changing their path. You see, they're ready for change. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of, see, it's just like I say, a lot of prosperity. This is sometimes a windfall of abundance. Wow. Yeah. All right, nine of pentacles, two single people. Yeah, see, this is someone here who's definitely ready for something new. This could be someone who's paid off their all their debt, their bills, okay? You can see it, l releasing burdens, you see? Yeah, so this is re someone who's ready. They've worked, this is someone who's worked very hard. They've stayed focused on those finances. 
So this is definitely uh, fitting this person. See, just going with the flow. They're ready for change. Wow. Tell me about the sun. Yeah, see, there it is, Aquarius. See, this is your hopes and dreams. I feel this person reaches out. I feel like you'll say yes. Oh, yeah, I do. I mean, I, I can see this. The releasing things that no longer serve, baggage, burdens, um, baggage from the past. It's a healing energy, but it's an energy of someone who's ready for new, okay, ready to start something. So I see this person gaining some clarity here. Yeah, they're going to reach out. <laughs> Absolutely. This person sees you as their hopes and dreams is probably vice versa. Yeah, I see a little Taurus energy for some of you. This is how this person conducts themselves. They're kind of on their own path. They kind of have their own routine, their own way of doing things. They don't always follow society's rules, you see. Uh, but I do feel this is someone who, you know, they want it to be successful. Okay. They're seeing the truth. This is the aha moment that they're having. Yeah, they, this is definitely someone who, you know, and it could be too, or this is someone where you maybe moved on, but I feel it has to do with this person thinking about commitment, their habits, their lifestyle. Uh, there's definitely an energy where there's some kind of a connection. So you may have some earth in your chart somewhere. Yeah, a little Taurus Virgo energy. Tell me about the world. See, someone at a crossroads in their life, they're at that time in their life. It's about taking things to the next level. You could be dealing with this person already. You see, this is somebody who I feel single. They're definitely letting go things that no longer serve. Uh, they're probably, I feel this is someone who's paid off some debt. They may have had a lot of responsibilities. Okay, so this is where I feel some new habits, new traditions, new beliefs, a whole new path. It's about having faith in the path that they're on. Yeah, this is two people being on the same page. Ooh. Yeah, see, look at that. See, this is someone who is very, this person is quite particular about what it is they like. They want someone who's just right. Okay, so it has to do with taking things to the next level. It has to do with committing to this path. Whether you're the right person for them or not, they want it to be. Okay, they're a little apprehensive. There's no doubt, okay, that this person's a little unsure. So let's have a look at this Ten of Wands again. Yeah, see? This is the energy of someone who works a lot. They have a lot of responsibilities. Uh, they may be responsible if they're a business owner for a lot of people, situations, maybe family. This could be someone who's been paying alimony too or paying off debt. They work hard. They're definitely protect, um, perfecting their craft, their skills, you see? This is someone who's worked hard to achieve what they have. Wow. You both may be in that energy. It's an energy of two people working together to build, see? King of Pentacles. Some of you may have a couple people with that energy. Like I say, I see some Aquarius, yourself. I see some Libra. Someone's got Libra in their chart. You know, it's an energy of a person who's very balanced. So this is someone who chooses their path that's right for them. They don't necessarily follow society's rules, you see? But I feel there's some kind of change. Uh, to weigh uh, their structure, their habits, because this is someone who's ready to go down another path. Someone's ready for a commitment. Yeah, committing to another path, they're letting go. Some of you may be letting go of someone here. Like I say, you may have a choice between a couple people here, <laughs> both with that uh, prosperity, financial stability. Uh, this is definitely a person who's looking at their hopes and dreams, everything they could hope. They want to start something. Yeah, this is someone here, like I say, they know they have to be the one to start it. Yeah, so there it is. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility. So there's a need to compromise. This is someone who's definitely ready. Look at that. Oh, this is crazy. This is something I feel. It's, I don't know if you've been seeing this person. You're already dealing with them. Or this is someone who's just going to reach out. Okay, they may have questions. I do see this energy of win or lose and success, but it's the aha moment. Okay, this person's letting go of something, releasing Anything that no longer serves, they're ready to go down a path, they're ready to cooperate and compromise. They want someone who's compatible. Uh, they're definitely someone who wants someone who's just right. Uh, they're, this is not somebody who will settle, okay? Definitely not. So let's see. And it has to do with lifestyle too, two people's lifestyle, your habits, the way you live your day-to-day -day lives. This is someone who's been kind of doing their own thing on their own path. But now I feel if you've been dealing with this person, they're definitely thinking of commitment. 
Okay. They're, they feel financially ready. There's been a lot of focus. I feel they paid off a lot of debt. And I feel this is someone too who, you know, I feel they're a little concerned if somebody else has a lot of debt taking it on because I feel they've had a lot of that. Like I say, they may have been paying child support, alimony, or just uh, debt for a business. Uh, they're definitely focused, okay, on that. But you can see this person now focusing on the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be the King or Queen of Pentacles here. Look at that. So this is two people hoping and planning something is successful. But I see, you know, there's that energy of truth, seeing the truth, okay? Speaking the truth. There's the energy of waiting. So it's an energy of waiting. Yeah, for commitment here. Yeah, to take things to the next level. Ooh, yeah, see? It's energy of building a solid financial foundation, a house and home. Someone's paid off their home. So this is somebody who's waiting, okay? Till the, I feel till it's right for them, their own path. They're on their own path. So, And I feel both of you kind of are in that energy. So this person may feel like you're just right here. This energy of coming in right, doing the right thing. They're going to do what's right for themselves too. It's this energy of this wand. See, this is their life path. But I do see this person going through change. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of abundance. So it looks like that windfall of abundance where they've just paid everything off. Maybe you're in that same energy too. A lot of focus on finances, finding someone who's compatible. See, it's energy of not going down that path until you find someone who is just right. So staying focused and being, you know, it's being sure of what it is you want, what you're comfortable with too. This is your this I, I feel like you're both kind of hoping and dreaming for the same thing. You may feel the situation's out of reach or someone's out of your league. Maybe they feel that way with you or you feel that way with them. There's definitely a mutual energy. But I feel it all has to do with lifestyles, habits, marriage, commitment, building a solid financial foundation first. You see? So it's an energy of someone who may tell you to just wait, just be patient, okay, because they're on their own path here. But it's an energy of, I feel, two people coming together. See, you're going to come together and take this to the next level. Yeah, whatever that level is, see, two single people. Yeah, this is someone who's been on their own path, doing their own thing, enjoying the fruits of their labors. Both of you, two single people, nine of pentacles twice, taking care of yourselves. You look good. Yeah, see, this is nice. It's that an energy of, of independence. Taurus and Virgo energy. Some of you may have a choice between a Taurus and a Virgo, or you have some of that energy in your chart. There's also the Libra Aquarius. A little fire here, too. A little passion, you see. Somebody's got a little fire in their chart, I feel, here. Yeah, it's a happy home. It's an energy of someone who makes a comfortable home. Someone who likes to enjoy the fruits of their labors as well. It's a person who likes to feel comfortable. Queen of Pentacles is someone who likes a comfortable home. This is someone who maybe works at home, okay? Uh, doesn't Likes to spend a lot of time home alone. So we have a couple of loners here. <laughs> I feel it's really that you're both focused on uh, your, your own success first and foremost. Yeah, see, so yeah, like I say, it's about getting ready, focusing on that, right? Having, being healed, releasing things that no longer serve, be willing to compromise, okay? Waiting for someone who's compatible, the one. That's what it's all about, see? Doing all these things first and then comes love. So, yeah, this is the energy of the next level, see? This is some of you definitely, you know, thinking about love. So I do see someone being very gracious and very kind. So I see a single person, somebody who's wanting love, you see? Aw, I feel this is someone here is a little in touch with their feminine side too. So, because yeah, I feel like you've got this things in common, common energy, lifestyle, habits, uh, beliefs, uh, could be religious beliefs, but it has to do with your structures, your routines, the way you live. Okay, a couple of homebodies is what I feel. Yeah, I, I definitely can see the Queen of Cups as someone who's had a tough time. You see, someone who's looking for love, but it's an energy of looking at how you feel, you know, whether this person's right for you or not, too. See, you may feel like this is someone out of your league. Okay, maybe they feel that way, but it's telling you to let go of that. It's a mindset. It's a belief. So I see the energy of change. Okay, looking at things a little different, I feel here. Wow, you both may have Virgo in your chart, so or you're just both spending time alone contemplating the situation. Um, you may not even have any Earth in your chart. 
um, in the obvious places. But yeah, I, I feel it has to do with your lifestyle. See, making the choice of love, two people choosing each other. I feel like you're going to choose each other here. See, it's an energy of chemistry, two people who were just right, two people who were uh, building each other up. And this is also an energy of a working couple, okay? Um, you could work in separate places, still have a home-based business. There's a lot of focus on the future, financial stability, see? Connecting, building, two people building more. So this is crazy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a reading with this much pentacles. But the, look at that, Aquarius. There you are, see? Letting go. Some of you are letting go of someone who's a little detached, okay? They may act like they're not interested, okay? So you could be letting go. You may have another person. As I say, there's a couple of King of Pentacles energies here. So, mm hmm you've kind of been moving on possibly too. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. This could be yourself, but it could be this person. So I say flip it however uh, you feel. Yeah, a little Cancer energy. So it has to do with someone controlling their emotions, see? You know, this energy of some of you, uh, I definitely see this energy of success, being determined to have success. So if you're, de I feel someone here is determined to be successful before they start, um, before they marry or commit uh, to someone. Okay, some of you are taking your power back. Okay, but this is also an energy of controlling your emotions, no longer being ruled by them. This is, I, I see this change. Some of you are moving on from something. Um, you have someone coming in. You could have a person coming back around. It's very possible. I'm not seeing a lot to do with reconciliation, though. You may have had a date with someone. It may have been successful. It's some kind of communication, some kind of truth. Yeah, so you need to be a little cautious, being a little careful what you wish for. But this is about both people indulging the other person, see? Communicating truth. Uh, I feel like you're both successful. Yeah, it's a lot of focus on the money. Not so much focus on the love life, but some of you are ready, I feel. You are ready uh, to focus on your love life, but you're offering one cup, nothing more, until you're sure something will, you know, kind of go the way you want. You're being careful what you wish for. So it's an energy of two people kind of playing it safe. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's both of you playing it safe. Yeah, you both want something, but it's about both people giving the other person what they want. There's always a need to compromise. Sometimes one person has to pull the weight for the other person and vice versa. So it's an energy of, you know, um, a true partnership. And I see some love here. King of Pentacles. Someone who's just right. Some of you have someone who may not be right for you. You may be letting them go. They also could be, you know, somebody who just wants to be single, maybe. They're a little detached emotionally. That's likely, if there is two, that's likely what you're leaving behind. But I feel like you're about to get something you want, okay? Yeah, you, you someone is coming in just right. It could be them coming back around, giving you what you want if you want commitment. But I do see choices for some of you. Someone who's right, someone who's not. Let's have a look. I see a Gemini. Somebody here could be a Gemini uh, Taurus cusp. Somebody could be a Libra. Virgo. Where they have those energies in their chart. Hmm, interesting. And you may have Taurus Virgo Capricorn, or like I say, vice versa. Ooh, Aquarius, this is interesting. It's an energy of balance and compatibility here. Tell me about the love. Yeah, see, it's energy of releasing, healing, um, taking a little break. Some of you have taken a break. You've healed, okay? You're releasing negative thoughts and energy. You're letting go of something. So I do feel this energy of uh, doing what's right. So it's an energy also of making sure you're healed before you start something new, whether it's you or this person. Yeah. Yeah, you've got someone. And I do look at that King and Queen of Cups, King and Queen of Pentacles. This is so sweet. Look at all the air, though, you see? So there's air, Aquarius. I feel like you're being sensible and practical. There's someone here I don't think you see a future with, because and I do feel like you have something new, okay? Yeah. You could be someone coming back around, giving you what you want. It's definitely a person who's... Oh, they could be healing, okay, something emotional. Like I say, someone who may be a little, 
you know, a little detached emotionally. There's too much focus on their finances. Someone who's focusing on that one thing. They want to be successful, I feel, before they commit. Now, it could be something that this person's kept from you and they're coming back around. But I really feel like you got new. Everything's becoming very clear. Okay, I see a lot of happiness. Uh, I definitely see somebody here looking at that, looking for clues. Going within. I feel both of you, to be honest. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, see, this is someone who's seeing the bigger picture. See, this is someone who's figuring out what makes them happy. Uh, I feel like it's yourself, vice versa. You know, you're going to indulge each other. You're both going to, it's where you both things go in both people's favor. You see, and some kind of an agreement. I feel like you're going to make an agreement with someone. Yeah, it's a lot of abundance. You both have a lot to offer the other person. So, a lot of prosperity, absolutely. A lot of emotional fulfillment. So it has to do with being emotionally fulfilled, being happy. Is this what I want? Is this person right? Okay. It has to do with committing. It has to do with somebody uh, being fair. Okay. So it's a person who kind of, like I say, goes back and forth in their head a little bit. We know that energy. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius both have a uh, tendency to take a little pause clear out their head before they make a decision. So some of you may, like I say, you may have been on a break from someone here. So there it is. Trust your intuition, your inner knowing. This is someone who already knows everything they need to know. Yeah, this is someone being very wise. This is someone who's kept their feelings to themselves. See, someone's kept their feelings to themselves a little bit here because they're soul searching first and foremost. They're definitely focused. They, this is definitely a person who wants to be um, financially uh, grounded, maybe pay off their home before they start something. They, this is someone who doesn't want a lot of debt. Okay. Um, so I, I feel like you're both in that energy. So just trust your intuition, okay? I feel like it's all going to become very clear. Yeah, someone here knows everything they need to know. <laughs> You're about to get what you want. You can probably feel this coming, okay? Tell me about this King of Pentacles up here. Yeah, see, cycle ending. So this has to do with the cycle that's ending. So like I say, you may have someone where you're seeing the truth yourself. It could be yourself seeing the truth. Uh, somebody here is a little emotionally detached. It may not go in your favor. So this is where I feel like you're ending it. Getting off that emotional roller coaster, it's something that may have been on and off. So it does look like there's something new. Okay, But in this energy, I can see you may actually, this person could come back around and give you what you want. Okay, But I feel like you're being cautious. I feel both people are being a little cautious and playing it safe. There's a lot of finances here, a lot of energy of stability a house and a home but it has to do with being happy okay yeah some kind of an agreement here yeah they're going to offer you this cup so someone who probably doesn't want to miss this opportunity yeah look at this beautiful energy well, it's a love letter and invitation this is someone pouring out their heart <laughs> Yeah, see, there it is, incoming. Someone is now in a hurry. Some of you are moving away from someone, though, okay? Uh, but others of you are not. It's just this person. They're in your energy around them. So I feel it has to do with starting something. So the person, they know that if they want things to go in their favor, they need to start it, okay? They need to get moving here. Yeah, you probably know who it is. It could be someone in your neighborhood. Maybe you work with this person, Um but I do see an energy of multiple opportunities, things speeding up. There's change. It looks like fairly sudden. Yeah, it could be just a sudden decision or communication. Some of you, like I say, been there, done that. You both may be feel the same. You know, this could be an energy where you both live in separate homes and then commit, make a commitment to be faithful to each other. Okay, at least go down this path. Well, this could end up in a marriage and commitment, though. Absolutely. Energy of balance and fairness here. See, there it is, the truth. This is definitely some kind of truth. The light bulb going off. Both of you, you got common energy. You know, two people probably thinking about each other and just trying not to be ruled by your emotions. But here's the truth, the success. This is someone who's successful. I feel you both are. You both want this to be successful too. So 
Wow, this is crazy. It's just, yeah, it's just keep saying the same thing. I don't really feel there's any reason to beat this up because I feel like we have as two people who are ready. Okay, uh, so I see a whole new cycle. I see something to do with your hopes and dreams. Okay, letting go of baggage, um, letting go of debt, burden. Okay, some of you don't want the responsibility of a relationship. You've changed because you are feeling uh, more stable financially. Um, but I think if this person, particular person comes back around, you'll change your mind again, or they will. So crazy, okay? Just trust your intuition. You likely know who this is, okay? This person's definitely trusting. They're looking at the details. They're making some kind of plans, you see? They're planning. This is someone planning to commit. Um, could be, like I say, maybe you've been on a break from this person, but they're definitely healing and releasing things. They may be healing from another connection, Okay, somebody else uh, just taking a break, making sure they're healed before they start something new. And it could be financial situation as well. It's not always an emotional healing. Sometimes it's financial. Um, but I feel like you, this is somebody here who's definitely keeping their feelings to themselves until they're, you know, feel like the time is right. That's what I feel. So, but I, I feel we got two people here going to connect. Okay, there's love here. Okay, trust your intuition. I don't think anything feels off here, to be honest. This is an energy of just going with the flow, you know, just kind of make an agreement to see how things go. Okay, yeah. This person definitely sees you as someone who's marriage material. I feel that's vice versa. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you got this opportunity. You have uh, three aces. Four aces. Do you have all four aces here? Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Yeah, you've the only one you don't have. Do you have the Ace of Wands? I gotta look. I can't remember now. Yeah. So there's definitely a lot of focus on the partnership. Uh, yeah, there's no Ace of Wands here, is there? So this person's not f so focused on that physical attraction. Oh, it's there. I can see it. That passion. You see. But this is definitely somebody who's mature. Okay, sensible, practical. Yeah. This is someone who's keeping their feelings to themselves right now till they're ready. You see, they're exploring how they feel. They're healing something. And it could be someone who's, you know, like I say, sometimes it's a little bit of an emotional blockage, but you're, they're going to offer you this, this pentacle. They want to build this foundation. They want to start things off right. So this is a person who wants to start things off right. They want to be stable financially. They also want the same thing. This person doesn't want to have a lot of burdens in a relationship. Okay? They don't want to have that. They don't want to start a relationship with debt, baggage, and burdens. Okay? So that's what I feel. This person. They'll tell you the truth. So pretty interesting. <laughs> Aquarius, yeah. You're definitely going to want to know the truth. You'll likely question them, okay, because we know what you're like. Yeah, there you are, speaking the truth, speaking up here. See, you're speaking the truth. You want to know. Um, I feel like the truth is you are successful in your own right. You, I mean, there's nothing wrong with wanting someone who's successful financially because you don't want to start a relationship with someone. You've been there, done that, started a relationship with someone with a lot of b debt, baggage, you know, burdens, financial burdens. So there's nothing wrong with that, okay? So don't take it as if you're, if you're not as well off as this person that somehow the situation's out of reach because it's not. Release that, okay? Yeah, and you may tell somebody else that too. Um, but I'm going to tell you, I feel like the truth and success here. Yeah, you're just going to speak the truth, okay? Yeah, lovely. And some of you are cutting someone out. You have a new person coming in. So, yeah, if you have a person who's like that, they don't want the responsibility of a relationship. They don't want to commit. They're on their own path. Maybe you feel they're not faithful or they just don't have faith in this connection. That's, the I feel, the only way you're going to... Um, cut this person out, you're going to end it, okay? Because there's the light bulb going off, that aha, you see? They want the same, I feel it's the person who's coming in, the person you're going to end up with, regardless who it is, they want someone who's successful as well, okay? Yeah, they don't want to start something with baggage. They don't want to start it with all that burdens. They want to be stable. They want to build a solid foundation, you see? 
So this is pretty nice, I feel. You're going to choose the right thing because I feel like you're going to trust your inner knowing, your inner wisdom. You may already know, okay? Some of you may know this person's successful. You may not be saying anything, okay? Now, I do feel they're on their own path, but I feel like you are too, okay? Yeah, I'm looking for clues. Aha! <laughs> mm-hmm. I think you both want the same thing here. So I feel it's just a matter of compatibility, uh, compromising, okay, releasing things that no longer serve. You take the pentacle off. See, you release that one pentacle, right? The energy that keeps you stuck. That's when things start to move. So that's where I feel the cycle ends. Things are about to shift in your favor. This person wants things to go in their favor. See, it's about being patient. It's about investing, hoping their patience pay off. You may tell someone to be patient or they may tell you, okay? But I feel like it, it's an energy where you're kind and compassionate. I feel like you're there for this person. It's like you're there. This person sees you as someone who's there for them. Okay, they, they're visualizing that energy. That's the, the soul searching. Marriage commitment, see, this is very positive. This person's thinking positive thoughts here to do with having faith. But if you don't have faith in someone to commit, you may have another opportunity. Okay, so I wish you the best here. Just stay grounded, take your time. In this reading, I don't feel like there's anything to rush. Okay, nothing to rush. This has to do with realizing your hopes and dreams. You want this person to reach out to start something. Okay, yeah. It's an energy of two cards of faith here. See, having faith in yourself, you know your worth and your value. You see, yeah. you want somebody who sees that. And I do feel that they will. It's two people who adore each other, even admire each other. So it's an energy of something mutual between the two of you. You both, I feel, need to let go of baggage from past relationships. Okay? And just let it go. Because it no longer serves. Because you're going down a whole new path with a whole new energy. So I wish you the very best. Do take care. Okay? Just be patient. Watch your words. <laughs> All right, Aquarius? Anything that no longer serves, let it go. If you are... Like I say, if you're seeing somebody here and you're thinking of taking it to the next level, moving in together, you may have, like I say, an energy where you need to make some kind of an agreement of what you get rid of, what you take with you. Okay, Some of you could be holding on to a lot of things, but I feel it could even be a prenup, some kind of an agreement Okay, it's to start things off right. Because sometimes things start off right, they go well, and then, of course, we know. Um, sometimes they don't. So I feel it's an energy of preparing and planning ahead. Okay, preparing for the uh, the best, but planning for uh, the, you know, ahead in case something doesn't go well. Uh, but I feel, like I say, it could even be just the same person, somebody who's gone through some kind of change, uh, changing their mind. Okay, you may have changed your mind too. So that's what I feel, this planning ahead, preparing, making some kind of an agreement. So I wish you the very best. Take care, and we'll see you soon.